In this video, I'm going to answer the question about where does this formula for the uniform distribution, the continuous uniform distribution variance, come from? Namely, this formula right here, that the if you have a uniform distribution where at, at every point the probability is the same, uh, especially a continuous one, why does the variance formula turn out to be this thing where there's a 12 in the bottom? Now I'm not going to go through every little step, but I'm going to show you the reasoning behind where this, how this formula could be derived, and then I'm going to, I have this derivation of why it's b minus a squared over 12 on my website, website www.berkeyacademy dot com and the file is called uniform variance something like that so go to my website click files and you can download this little derivation if you want to go through every little step but what I'm going to do here is give you an overview of how we know the formula uh, looks like this how you could go about deriving it most of it's just algebra but I'm going to go through the the important parts here so just to review, a, a uniform, a, a continuous uniform distribution looks like this. You, in general, you have two numbers, a lowest number that is possible, we usually call that little a, a highest number that's possible, lowercase b, and the probability of being at any instant or any little point in between is always the same. Now, as, as I said in my last video and on the uniform, and I'll provide a link to that here in case you're not familiar with the uniform, you should watch that first, that uh, since the, the probability distribution is e equal all through, then the mean here is the number halfway in between A and B. And so that mean is A plus B over 2. And something else you need to be familiar with to follow what we're going to do here is that the height of the probability distribution, f of x, is basically the width of the distribution, 1 over the width of the distribution. So that's 1 over b minus a it gives the height of this little rectangle, or the height of the function, probability function. Um, so how do we come up with the variance formula? Well. Let me remind you what the variance formula looks like for any variable before we get started. If you had some data, then you would calculate the variance this way. The variance is the sum of take each x, subtract the mean, square it, and then divide by n. If you have a discrete uh, random variable. A discrete random variable has a very similar kind of uh, variance formula here where really all we do is we say well instead of summing the x minus the mean squared and dividing by n, really what n represents here is how frequently each number occurs. Well one out of n times, right? One out of n times. If, if you have a uh, discrete probability distribution, we just replace that 1 over n with what is the probability of that outcome occurring, f of x. Okay, so this is really how we find variances any time. So how do we get from this function to b minus a squared over 12? It's not as difficult as it seems. Bear with me, and but I'm going to spend about five minutes going through uh, how you take this this formula and plug in what we know basically for a uniform distribution. Well, let's just go ahead and talk about how we would do that. What we're talking about is the uniform variance for a continuous continuous variable. That means that there is an uncountably infinite number of possibilities. So a couple of things we're going to do here when we when we derive this formula for variance, we have to take into account that we're not talking about a discrete distribution. So we're not going to be able to add up an infinite number of possibilities here. We're not going to be able to do a regular sum. 
An a second thing we're going to do is we're going to replace the mu here, the mean, with what the mean is. Well, what is the mean? Well, it's a plus b over 2. So that's going to be a plus b over 2. And then the third change is we can just, we're just going to plug in this f of x. Well, what is f of x? It's 1 over b minus a. 1 over b minus a. Okay? So there's really three things. We can't really add up an infinite number of points. We need some other, other thing that we can do. We replace the mean with what it is for a uniform and the f of x for what it is for a uniform. So how does this all come together? Well, again, this worksheet will be on my website at berkeyacademy.com. Click Files, and it's called Uniform Distribution Variance or something like that. It's a PDF. What we do is, is we, instead of having a sum, a discrete sum, the uh, Greek uppercase sigma here, we have to replace it with a continuous concept. And the continuous analog for a discrete summation is the integral. And the integral sign here, we use an elongated S which really means continuous summation. So what an integral does is it adds things up continuously, though. Infinite number of tiny, tiny, you know, infinitesimal points. So instead of the Greek, you know, discrete sigma sum, we're going to do a continuous sum, and that's the integral. And we're going to add up from A to B, a continuous sum, integral, x minus the mu squared, right, x minus the mean squared, times f of x. And then we add this little dx on the end that just says, what are we adding up with respect to? Well, we're going to go from, if, if you're look, thinking about this graph, a to b, along the x-axis, basically. We're going to be changing this x number continuously from a all the way up to b, along kind of the x-axis there. And so in this next line, this is really where all the magic happens. I just replace the mean, the mean with a plus b over 2, and I replace the f of x with 1 over b minus a. And in the next line, I'm just going to go through the next line very briefly here, and then I'm just going to tell you the rest is algebra. It's just a lot of nasty algebra. Uh, basically, all I do here is I say, well, what is the integral of this thing with respect to x? All right, and I replace it with the integral. And then I simplify that a little bit here. And then on the next line, oh, sorry, actually, I'm sorry, I didn't, I, I just misspoke. I didn't do the integral yet. I just did, I, right here, I'm just doing some simplification, just doing some simplification. On this line is really where I do the integral. Um, the x cubed terms go up a power. It's kind of the opposite of doing a derivative. So instead of x squared, we have x cubed. Instead of x, we have x squared, and we divide by 2, etc. And then now, here's where we evaluate this integral at b. So we plug in b for x everywhere, and then we subtract what happens when we plug in a everywhere. And so that's the next line here. Here, let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see this. Okay, so now you can see the, the full width of what's going on. So when we evaluate it, this is what we get on the next line. Again, over in this section, we're plugging in b's everywhere for x. And then we're subtracting what we get when we plug in a's everywhere for x. So here, here, and here. And then these next few lines, all I'm doing here is I am um, simplifying and collecting terms, and in the very end here, you can go through this yourself if you don't trust me, it's, it's a bit of a painful algebraic process there. What you'll end up with is b minus a squared, a squared over 12 is the variance of a uniform distribution. So this video is just for people who, like me, when I took uh, statistics class and this was mentioned, this b minus a squared over 12, 99.9% .9 of professors will say, when you ask, where'd the 12 come from? They'll just say, be quiet, it's 12. Um, I like to, to take a couple of minutes and show people 
where the 12 comes from because I always wondered. And this is probably too much information for most people, but for those few people out there who really want to know, this is it. And if you want a copy of this, again, go to my website, berkeyacademy.com, click on Files, and do download this uh, PDF called Uniform Variants or something like that. You'll see it in the list. Again, if you have questions or, or problems, leave a comment section in the uh, a comment or question in the comment section below. Good luck with your studies.